What's happening with the Kardashian sisters? Are they fighting or not? Kourtney Kardashian makes a shocking move in the feud with her sisters as a detail is spotted in video during the star's trip. But more to come. For one, we take a moment to share some touching tributes from celebrities as the news. First up, Kourtney Kardashian makes shocking move in feud with sisters as detail is spotted in video during star's UK trip. Recently, there have been rumors that Kourtney Kardashian has a desire to separate herself from her sisters, Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner. But a recent video seems to suggest that at least Kim and Courtney are trying to bury the hatchet. Courtney posted a video from inside the high-end department store's Apple store of Kim with the caption, look who I saw at Selfridges London, and even tagged Kim. Recent developments have made it seem like Courtney was distancing herself from her sisters. She recently announced the launch of her new skincare line, which could possibly rival Kim's SKKN brand, only two months after its release. The video had a logline that made people believe that the skincare line was going to be affordable, but the initially announced retail value of $600 $73 for the whole package was met with scoffs and people wondering whether Courtney had seen the gas prices lately. The new line is even more of a shock because Kylie also already owns her own lines of Kylie Cosmetics and Kylie Baby. Courtney also opted to skip Kylie's birthday, an absence that did not go unnoticed by fans. Kim was there, but no Courtney. And whether it was on purpose or not, Courtney also failed to notice the tribute that Kylie paid to her at a cosmetic launch party where Kylie had named a drink after her and no one else. And now, Queen Elizabeth II has died at 96 and here are some celebrity tributes so far. The news of the passing of Queen Elizabeth II on Thursday the 8th of September 2022 quickly spread across the world. Shock and disbelief have reigned the world ever since, and will probably for a little while longer. For the past 70 years and almost another, Queen Elizabeth II wore the crown, until the very last day as promised. And the tributes are already trickling in as people struggle to find the words that put to justice what she sacrificed for her country. In the lead was Daniel Craig, who performed as James Bond along alongside the Queen at the 2012 opening ceremony of the London Olympics. He said that he was deeply saddened by the news, and his thoughts will be with the royal family, those she loved, and all those who loved her. British Olympic gold medalist Sir Mo Farah also expressed his condolences to the royal family during this very sad time, adding that meeting her was the greatest honor of his life. Ozzy Osbourne also decided to pay tribute to Her Majesty. With a heavy heart, I say it is devastating the thought of England without Queen Elizabeth II. Also deeply saddened by the news was Victoria, who said that the Queen will be remembered for her steadfast loyalty and service. There's no doubt that the Queen lived a life full of service, and she will be missed by many. Next, did Zac Efron have plastic surgery? The high school music veteran Zac Efron came into a sudden and to him unexpected spotlight when fans started discussing whether Zac Efron had undergone plastic surgery to his face or not. Word quickly spread, even ending up with Efron trending over the mystery. But Efron himself has put to end all of the theorizing. He did not have plastic surgery of any kind, and even as added that he wouldn't have been able to be in the industry if he'd cared that much about what other people think of him. In a new interview with Men's Health, Efron explained that he had a little accident in the safety of his own home. He'd been running around the house when a lost sock made him slip and fall, which caused him to shatter his jaw on a granite fountain. Obviously, he went out the moment he hit his chin on the fountain, and when he woke up again, he found his chin bone hanging off his face. The aftermath of the injury is what caused his face to look the way that it does now. The muscles in his jaw, his masseter muscles, were enlarged by the accident. They just got really, really big, he explained to Men's Health. Efron's friend of many years, Kyle Sandilands, an Australian radio host, says that he definitely would have noticed if his friend had decided to have plastic surgery. Well, what do you say? Did he or did he not have plastic surgery? Hold up, because there's more to come. Next, we have a happy announcement to make in the name of Nicolas Cage. Dan Reynolds of the Imagine Dragons explains why he can't sing certain songs, and will explain what happened with that The Weeknd gig that got cancelled. Ready for the next round? Let's go! First up, Nicolas Cage and his wife, Rico, have welcomed their first child into the world. The legendary Nicolas Cage, age 58, and his 27-year-old artist wife Rico have welcomed their first child together into this world. Their daughter, August Francesca Coppola Cage, was born on Wednesday the 7th of September 2022 in Los Angeles. Though this is the first child Cage has with Rico, he is already a dad to two sons, Kalel, who is 16, and Weston, who is 31, both from previous relationships. The news that the couple was expecting broke in the news and in April. Cage couldn't bear to keep him himself any longer. During an appearance on The Kelly Clarkson Show, the unbearable weight of massive talent actor shared the news that he wasn't just expecting a child with his wife, but it was going to be a daughter. Cage told Access Hollywood earlier in the year that he's extremely excited about being a dad again. His sons are all grown up, and he misses singing lullabies and rocking in the rocking chair. He's looking forward to going to the toy store again, and just all kinds of stuff that only parents with babies and very young children do. Cage and Rico married in a very small and intimate wedding at the Wynn Hotel in Las Vegas on 
the 16th of February, 2021, in honor of his late father's birthday. Following Imagine Dragons, Dan Reynolds explains why he won't ever sing some of his own songs. When you're listening to Imagine Dragons, most songs instantly make you crave for a good festival. But the latest death-inspired album from Imagine Dragons, Mercury Acts 1 and 2, is so devastatingly personal and raw that singer Dan Reynolds thinks that there are songs on there that he probably will never perform. Over a space of only five years, the Reynolds lost his sister-in-law, business manager, and ex-girlfriend to cancer, and then his longtime best friend also tragically took his own life. It's needless to say, but Reynolds has been given some rough cards and has managed to turn it into something that may have helped the singer give the loss some place to go, but it's not a place that he wants to revisit every night. Reynolds opened up about it all in an interview to celebrate the 10th anniversary edition of the debut album of Imagine Dragons, Night Visions. With the help of Rick Rubin, who really helped Reynolds look at every single line and explain to him what it meant. The result? Songs like I Wish, which he wrote right after he was in the room with his sister-in-law and his brother. She was in her 30s. Seven kids passed away. Watched her be there, watched her not be there. But it's one of the songs that we'll have to treasure from the comfort of our own homes, and it's not hard to understand why. And now, why did The weekend cancel his show while it had already started? There were already 70,000 fans packed into the SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. I Can't Feel My Face was blasting through the speakers, and all that was missing was The weekend himself, but he was nowhere to be found. While the show had obviously already very much started, The weekend was forced to cancel his gig on the 3rd of September, 2022, after he blew his voice out the moment he put in for a scream. He did come out to address his fans personally, rather than running backstage and sending out a tweet or posting something on Instagram. He wanted to apologize personally and explain that he didn't know what happened, just that he'd felt his voice go. And though it was killing him to do so, he couldn't give them what they'd come for and what he wanted to give them. He felt like he had no other choice but to come back another time. A few days after the sad event, The Weeknd sent out the news that he will be resuming his After Hours Till Dawn tour before the month of September has gone by, but a new date for Los Angeles is still being worked on. Guess we'll just have to ask him to wake us when September ends. And that's all we have for now. What do you think about the current Kardashian situation? Are they in the middle of a feud, or is it all make-believe? Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.